Coming to paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, 1987. Learn lessons about life and teenage love in the 1980s with this coming-of-age John Haynes story. Pre-order your copy of John Haynes, 1987 at online booksellers everywhere. Two cheerleaders in Texas were shot after one of them got into the wrong vehicle in a parking lot. All news footage is used under fair use of United States Copyright Law of 1976 and is used in conjunction with my commentary. Story of a Texas cheerleader who was shot after her teammate accidentally tried to get into the wrong car is now making national headlines. That cheerleader was heading to Houston from Houston to Austin in a carpool. KPRC 2's Candace Burns first told you about this story yesterday. She has the newest information on this case and a similar one in New York State. A young woman seriously hurt near Austin because of what may have been a misunderstanding. It was unfortunate these girls were um, just trying to get home. Four cheerleaders who had just finished practice went to a grocery store. One mistakenly tried to get into the wrong car. One of the cheerleaders said shots were eventually fired. I was trying to apologize to him. I just halfway my window was down. He just threw his hands up and then he pulled out a gun. And then he just started shooting at all of us. One person treated at the scene, a second identified as Peyton Washington, airlifted to a hospital. She's literally a role model for the kids in this industry throughout the country. Everybody knows her. Pedro Telio Rodriguez Jr. is now charged. It's not the only mistake that ignited deadly violence in New York State. Investigators say 20 year old Kaylin Gillis was killed when she and some friends made a wrong turn. They drove up this driveway for a very short time, realized their mistake and were leaving when Mr. Monahan came out and fired two shots. Investigators say Gillis was just looking for a friend's house. I know for a fact that she comes from a good family, a very good family, um, and I know them personally. Um, and, you know, she's a young girl that was taken uh, way too young. 65 year old Kevin Monahan is now charged with second degree murder. He has pleaded not guilty. In the newsroom, Candace Burns, KPRC 2 News. Now, in this incident that took place in Elgin, Texas, Heather Roth, a cheerleader with the Woodlands Elite Cheer Company, was with three other cheerleaders who had completed a practice when they decided to go to a carpool just after midnight to get in their vehicles to go home. Now, Heather Roth says that she got in a friend's car and opened the door to a car to one that she thought was her own and there was a man sitting in the passenger seat. When she realized she had made this mistake, she then went and got back into her friend's vehicle, and as they were in their vehicle, this man then approached their vehicle and then pulled out, and then as she was pulling down the window, Pedro Tello Rodriguez Jr., a 25-year-old man, then pulled out a firearm and began shooting into their vehicle, wounding two of the cheerleaders. Now, the police are seeing this as an isolated incident, but when I take a critical examination of the behavior of Pedro Tello Rodriguez Jr., it fits the pattern and profile for beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. And it's clear to me that Pedro Tello Rodriguez Jr.'s alleged behavior is the kind of behavior that beta males participate in because many beta males do not know how to conflict resolve. Now, one of the male life skills most men get from their fathers is the ability to conflict resolve and find a way to conflict resolve without escalating things to violence. Many men who have fathers in their lives teach them how to go out here and deal with conflict Unfortunately, many beta males do not know how to deal with conflict, and because they do not know how to deal with conflict, they escalate things and make a small minor incident into a major tragedy. And that's what happened here with Pedro Tello Rodriguez Jr. as these women were get as this young lady got into 
his car by mistake. All he had to do was realize, okay, this woman made a mistake, and what I'm going to do is just charge it to the game, keep it moving, and be able to go on with my night. That's what most guys would do in that situation. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with a beta male, what happens is, is that if you go out here and violate their boundaries, what these individuals do because they can't conflict resolve in a constructive manner is they escalate a situation into a major event. So as um, this young lady, Heather Roth, got into the wrong vehicle by mistake, she wound up getting, leaving that vehicle, getting back into her friend's vehicle, and that's when this guy approaches the car, not to just let things go. He then, as she's rolling down the window, he then starts shooting and turns a minor infraction into a major event and puts his intangibles of manhood and jeopardy. Because once he decided to go over to that vehicle with that firearm, he basically escalated the situation from a mistake into a felony, and he turned it into a felony because when he pulled out that firearm and fired into that vehicle, what he did was go out here and commit a crime. And when he committed that crime, he went and went from being a guy who was just dealing with a minor mistake to a man who had basically put his freedom at risk. And he put his freedom at risk all because he didn't know how to deal with conflict because any other man would have just brushed it off and said, okay, they might have got in the wrong car because I'm in the passenger seat. The driver left the door unlocked. And if the driver is leaving the door unlocked, then the mistake was on the driver's side, not on my side. So if there's an issue, then I need to go out here and tell them that, okay, you shouldn't have left your driver's door unlocked. That's where the issue was, but instead of him dealing with the conflict that he had with the person he was riding with, he decides to go out here and try to take the law in his own hands and get in the face of a random stranger for making a minor mistake. And as he gets in the face of this random stranger for this minor mistake, what he does is go again, turn this into a felony criminal action. And as he turns it into a felony criminal action by acting on his impulses to do harm, he now has to deal with the consequences of now having felony charges on him. And with these felony charges on him, such as deadly conduct, which is a third degree felony in Texas, he possibly is dealing with the possibility of winding up going to court, going to trial, and he's going to be possibly spending time in jail as he's dealing with Bubba, Tiny, Roscoe, Big Dave, Melvin, and Rodney. And he's going to be put at the risk of having his tight end turned into a wide receiver. And as he's in there, being having that tight end turned into a wide receiver by Bubba, Roscoe, Tiny, Big Dave, Melvin, and Rodney, and, that, and, and being traded for Little Debbie Snack Cakes, Raymond Noodles, Packets of Crystal Light, Packets of Taster's Choice, Coffee, um, Off-Brand Oreo Cookies, Off-Brand Lemon Cookies, Kit Kat Candy Bars, Peppermint Balls, I mean, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Pies, Marshmallow Beeps. As he's being traded for this commissary, he's basically going to be wondering how he got into this situation. But the reason why he got into this situation has to do with the way he was raised. Because the way he was raised, he was never taught how to deal with conflict. He was never taught how to solve problems. And the whole thing is when you have males who don't know how to solve problems and let things go, what these individuals do is put themselves and other people's lives in jeopardy because in their world, they want to go out here and neutralize a threat when there was no need to neutralize a threat when a mistake is made. The mistake was made by his driver who left the door unlocked because if you're in a parking lot, the first thing you think you would do, even if you're rushing to go 
right in and right out is make sure that you lock your vehicle. That is something you would think you would do. But this individual, because he was not critically thinking and his and the person he was riding with wasn't thinking, they wound up creating a situation for themselves that basically led to this guy going from a guy riding, possibly get trying to get a ride home for, to possibly getting ridden by Bubba, Tiny, Roscoe, and Big, Big Dave, Melvin, and Rodney. And again, this is what happens when you have males who are not raised to know how to deal with conflict because back in the 80s and the 90s and even the early 2000s, a girl stepping in your car by mistake was just something you just brushed off and it's something you just brushed off, had a laugh at, and moved on from. But with beta males, they don't know how to move on. No, all they know is I'm going to go out here and escalate stuff. I'm going to just keep things up to a high level because they don't know how to just go out here and deal with problems and deal with conflict. And what's happening here with Pedro Tello Rodriguez Jr. is part of an ongoing trend that shows how much worse the man crisis is getting because this is the third incident of an individual using a firearm as related to escalating a minor incident. We had the incident with the young man who wound up getting shot by this racist and who was just going to pick up his brothers. And then we had the incident with the young lady who in New York just turned into the wrong driveway. And what we're seeing here is a just a disturbing trend as related to these shootings that shows how much worse the man crisis is getting because it's showing that many of these men basically do not know how to problem solve, do not know how to conflict resolve, and do not know how to have a good navigation through their emotions because many of these men are acting on their feelings and not thinking before they act. And this is a major problem that, again, shows how much worse the man crisis is getting because we're not only seeing an increase in frequency of these incidents, we're seeing these men going off and on and, and, and shooting people over trivial matters. This is something that shows that we have a major problem in this country. And it's a major problem because, again, if a person can get so upset over a minor mistake, like somebody getting in the wrong car, then we are in a real dire situation. And we're in a dire situation because we have men who do not know how to function in the world. And we're having a major problem with these men because they are showing that they have, again, poor discipline, poor self-control, poor impulse control, and they're not really thinking about the consequences of their actions. No, they're acting on their feelings and not ever thinking about their long-term consequences because Pedro Tello Rodriguez Jr., had he just blown this whole situation off, he possibly would have his freedom right now, and a man's freedom is one of the greatest intangibles he could have because your freedom is, is the one of the most important things and you don't want to put your freedom and jeopardy or at risk over something small and trivial. Unfortunately, what we're seeing is a lot of beta males out here. They're not thinking about more important things because they're caught up in their feelings about being slighted. They're caught up in their feelings about people doing something minor to them. And they're making, ma and they're making major actions that put their whole freedom and whole life at risk. And that's what we're seeing that's really making things worse about the man crisis in this country. We're seeing a lot of men going out here acting more and more impulsively, acting more and more erratically. And the reason why they're acting more and more impulsively and erratically is because basically we have seen a lot of major issues as related to this country get worse in the aftermath of the COVID lockdowns. And one of them, I believe, is the just deterioration of mental health in this country and a complete lack of discipline that has not been taught for over 60 years. Everything is coming to a head. And what I'm seeing with this country is, again, we're in the middle of a major man crisis and it's, our men are in a bad state because this violence is getting worse 
And instead of acknowledging the man crisis in this country, what we have are politicians who want to try to deflect and say, oh, these are isolated incidents. No, these incidents are all part of a larger pattern of behavior that dates back to the way we have raised boys to become men because the, ra the way we have raised boys to become men isn't raising men who know how to function. No, what we are raising are men in crisis, and these men in crisis are becoming more and more violent, more and more dangerous, and more of a clear and present danger to us. And instead of us acknowledging the foundations of this man crisis, which is the way we raise boys to become men, we have people trying to sweep it under the rug and trying to make it a smooth world, even though the beta males are making more and more chaos, and that chaos is really putting a threat to the order of America. And we are getting more and closer to the head where we're going to have to either deal with this man crisis or watch American society fall into complete chaos. Now, if you want to learn more about what leads to a beta male becoming a dysfunctional individual that participates in violence like this, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also pick up The Man Crisis at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can send a donation to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for free on Google Play and Smashwords, The Retreat by Lawrence Cherry. If you want to advance in your faith in God, sometimes you have to retreat. Get The Retreat for free on Smashwords and Google Play today. Now available in paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, Godbreaker. The man who rules the world takes on the Asgardian God of Thunder in this action-packed, all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get your copy of John Haynes Godbreaker in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere.